guidance? I think they're making the absolute right decision. I mean, we have to consider in 2020, people have to be far more important than products. Uh, it's much better for these companies to take precautions to keep their workers safe. And uh, if that means some products are going to be delayed this year, consumers are just going to have to wait. It's, uh, people have to come before products. And we're certainly seeing that the company does, says it does hope to resume normal production by the end of this month. But as we mentioned, you know, there are a lot of companies waiting for their products. Put into perspective what sort of ripple effect that will have on downstream companies like Apple. We're going to see a delay all across the board. Uh, Foxconn is just really the tip of the iceberg here. We've seen various South Korean firms also halting production, delaying production. So this is going to be a ripple effect that's not going to uh, affect just Apple. It's going to affect pretty much the entire tech sector. I was speaking literally with a friend earlier today who brought his computer in for a repair, and he was told he's going to have to wait for a couple months to get his computer fixed. That's not even buying a new computer. It's just because the parts have to come from China, and they're not coming anytime soon. And you're raising an interesting point about the parts. We saw that Foxconn's chairman said, even though the company hasn't seen the large-scale component shortages that some companies have had, there could be a shortfall because a lot of the same um, raw materials that are used in surgical masks are also used in the production of phones and some of these smart gadgets. Could that become an issue as the coronavirus spreads? That absolutely could become an issue. And the reason that this is happening, too, is because well, we're telling people worldwide, stock up on food, stock up on water, be prepared for uh, weeks, maybe even months to have those supplies. Uh, tech companies work on such tight margins, they cannot afford to stockpile those parts. So it really works where as uh, products are, parts are needed on the assembly line, they show up. And when uh, those parts don't show up, it impacts the entire supply chain all the way down from one end to the other. So then can we expect to see more tech companies sort of having this negative year of earnings across the board if normal production can't be resumed soon? It's hard to say. I mean, right now, uh, the Dow Jones took another hit of about 800 points. But we have to remember, yesterday, the Dow Jones had its highest uh, single day ever. So I think right now, for investors, we're going to see a roller coaster. There's going to be some profit taking. There's going to be those looking for opportunities to invest as uh, there are corrections. Uh, for the tech sector in general, I think the first quarter is going to be uh, shaky, but we also have to remember once uh, this virus is uh, addressed, once a vaccine is out there, it could be a boom time for these companies as consumers who've had to wait for those new products from an iPhone to a new gaming system. Once those products are on store shelves, it could be a boom time for the companies and uh, consumers will be rushing out to get those products they've had to wait for. And do you see some companies as being better insulated or prepared than others? No, I, I think, again, as I said, it's, it's difficult to be insulated in this because uh, there, there isn't really a way of having those uh, components uh, warehoused in advance. Uh, these parts are made as they're needed and uh, fulfilled as, the, as assembly comes together. So it's not the kind of thing you can stockpile for. So this is an unforeseen uh, situation, but I think the companies are handling it as well as can be expected. Now, we did see huge supply disruptions in the auto sector after the Japanese earthquake in 2011. How did that industry overcome those disruptions? And perhaps what lessons can the tech industry learn from that? The, be patient. To be honest, that's the best thing the tech industry can uh, take away from what Japan dealt after the uh, 2011 earthquake. That completely disrupted the Japanese auto industry. It took a couple firms years to uh, recover, and that's because they did uh, institute, mainly led by Toyota, the idea of only having those parts arrive at factories as they were needed rather than stockpiling them. So I think we're going to see a similar situation here. Uh, we're going to see a slowdown. Uh, but as we saw with uh, Foxconn uh, mentioned this week, uh, they hope to be back at production levels by the end of March. So if that happens, uh, it could be slow delays. I, I don't think we're going to see empty store shelves at any consumer electronics store around the world, uh, certainly not in the United States this year. Uh, we're not going to see those empty shelves, but uh, some products could be harder to obtain. And uh, for things like the iPhone, we might have to wait a little longer.